So this time we're going to take a sequence and we're going to define the sequence in terms of n. And this is really, really useful. And the reason it's really useful is because if I've got a sequence like this, 5, 7, 9, 11, and dot, 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 and then my question is, what would term 100 be? Well, using the recurrence relations we've used previously, I would need to know what term 99 was. And to know what term 99 was, I'd need to know what term 98 was, 97. I'd need to do 100 calculations before I finally figured out what term 100 was. If we can come up with a formula that just uses n straight away, uh, then I can just plug in n, um, in this term plug in 100 into my formula, and I should be able to find out what the 100th term is. So, what you really need to do is take a look at our numbers and compare them. So these are our terms, term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, and compare them against the number of the term, number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. And then you've got to say to yourself, what's the pattern? What could I do mathematically to the number 1 to turn it into 5 that I could do to the number 2 to turn it into 7, that I could do to the number 3 to turn it into 9, and that I could do to the number 4 to turn it into 11? Um, now, you could puzzle over that for a little bit. Uh, term n is equal to. I really did have to puzzle over that for a while. Um, now, in order to do the same thing here, same thing here, same thing here, same thing here, to make that happen, I would have to take the number 1 and multiply it by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, and then add 3. Now, if I do that to all of them, I get the right answer. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. 2 times 2, plus 3 is 7. 2 times 3, plus 3 is 9. 2 times 4, plus 3 is 11. So now I have a uh, sequence in terms of n. So, coming back to our original question, if that's our sequence in terms of n, then t100 is going to be really easy to figure out. It's going to be 2 times 100 plus 3, 203. So now that I know the first four terms, and I've got a relation, uh, sorry, a sequence, um, sequence defined in terms of n, I can sub in my 100 to find 203.